Whether you're taking aim at new markets or just refocusing your aim, zeroing in on that ideal audience is key to driving new leads and ultimately to closing the sale. And the COVID pressure cooker has really upped the ante. Joining me now are marketing connections experts, Paul Schmidt from Unodus Multimedia, Jesse Flores of Super Web Pros, and Tim Haynes of Symposia Labs. Welcome to the show, guys. Hey, Julie. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. So this is such an important topic. And I think COVID has really had an impact because a lot of people are having to really refocus on who that ideal client is. Tim, I want to start with you. When it comes to attracting that ideal audience, what is the first thing that we need to consider? So from my perspective, you want to tell the riskiest version of your truth possible, but you want to do that with your audience in mind. Be transparent about your expectations, your fees, et cetera, but focus more on communicating your value and also your values. We all have way too many notifications on our phones. So your message really does need to actually matter, but it can't succeed without the right user experience. So your company is going to hopefully attract those that share the same values as you Ultimately, what we're saying here is smoke what you sell and smell what you smoke. Okay, I like that. (laughs) That really rings true. And Tim, as you're talking about attracting the right audience, it's important to keep in mind what you should do when you attract maybe an audience that is not so right for you. You are a big proponent of just being real about it. And at times that might even mean firing the client. So true. So not every client is a good fit for every agency and not every boss is a good fit for every employee. So we like to think about sometimes the need to separate from a client, but something that we can all connect to is sometimes you're working at a job that you should quit because the organization isn't living up to what you expect it to live up to. Absolutely. All about making those right connections. Jesse, when we're talking about making those right connections, today's digital platforms really claim to make it easy to get your message to the right people at the right time. But you've talked a lot, very openly, about wasting money on digital advertising. <laughs> you still use it. So how do you reconcile these two perspectives? Because I bet a lot of people are listening and thinking, whoa, I've wasted a lot of money too on ads that just did oh, not. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Thousands of dollars on ads that haven't converted. Yeah. And and I'll tell you what, like, you know, big part of it, one of the biggest missing pieces that I had was neglecting the power of focus. You know, if everyone is, you know, you ask the business owner, who's your ideal client? They say, oh, everyone who blah, 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 blah. And if everyone is your target, then no one is your target. And it's very, very difficult to get a return quickly on that investment. No, I'll give you a quick example. I won't share any client stories, but I'll give you a fun example. So my daughter, has a, uh, an e-commerce store called Unicorn. She sells unicorn type things. It's all on uh, WordPress. It's all very fun, something we do together. And we're trying to drive traffic to this particular, to this particular website so she can you know, pay for her college. Uh, and you know, so we start thinking, okay, who's gonna buy unicorn type apparel? Right? So we start thinking parents, okay? And we've got different kinds of things for kids, for toddlers, for babies, whatever. And so we start coming up with, okay, who's our ideal audience? And so we start coming up with a list of segments. So let's take one segment, which was baby clothes. So we started thinking, okay, what about moms that have brand new babies? Uh, What about moms between ages of this and this, or moms between this and this? Or what about dads? What about grandmothers? And so what we did is we take all these different hypotheses and we break them into separate uh, separate audiences. I think we ran six separate audiences and we run a very, very, very small test with, I don't know, maybe 200 bucks of risk capital. I don't even know if it was that much. Actually, it might've been a hundred dollars of risk capital. And what we found is in that very, very, very small experiment that grandmothers uh, like outperformed six to one, the other two audiences, right? We were able to get grandmothers to click to the site for less than 87 cents a click. Whereas the dads and the moms or anyone else we were testing, it was costing us north of $2 a click, right? And with this, with this kind of approach, we were able to figure out very quickly, target this, not that, double down on this, not that. And as a result, we're able to say, by focusing here and focusing our dollars there and testing the audience, we're able to start making a higher return much more quickly. And so that disciplined, systematic approach is, is huge for making sure we're not losing money. And this is true for us and for all of our customers. 
and you zeroed in on a target audience you didn't even know was going to be there. Paul, I want to turn to you real quickly. Where does story fit in when we're trying to attract this ideal audience? Well, story is everything. And I'm going to circle back to a little bit of what Tim brought up because um, that authenticity and that transparency is huge. But knowing your story, your mission, and your brand and being unapologetic for it is huge because that also allows you to attract and draw people in um, that can actually fit within the core values that you exude to your staff um, and uh, the other clients that you work with because that's, that's how um, the authenticity will work for the simple fact that like um, Jesse um, was talking about that kind of uh, targeting, we target nonprofits, but that sometimes draws the attention of for profits because of the style we have and the story we like to tell with that. So being authentic, knowing your mission and how that goes out in the community, all those factors are important for drawing an ideal client. This has been so insightful. Paul, Jesse, Tim, thank you. We will actually also put a link to Jesse's daughter's company in case you wanna check out Unicorn. We'll put that on our website. To see more from our experts, head to wlaj.com slash expert connections and click the link for marketing connections.